My father has a history of health issues that began at the age of four when he was diagnosed with childhood polio. The polio left him paralyzed on his left side for about a year, uh, and he did eventually regain the ability to walk, but it was obvious by then that he had been left with a pretty severe essential tremor. You'd almost expect someone who's suffered the way he has to crumble at least a little more, but no, he always managed to maintain his quiet strength throughout my youth. And then when I decided to leave home to pursue a career in music and film, of course it's scary for parents to watch their youngest daughter run off to face the world, especially when you're broke, but my dad always believed in me. So about a year ago, I auditioned for and subsequently landed a role in an indie science fiction film called Starship. Uh, my daughter Emily had um, one of the leads in the movie and the director Neil Johnson asked me if I wanted to do a cameo. I was watching Star Trek probably next generation with my dad and he told me if you ever get on one of these sci-fi shows if you could just get me on there too that would be a dream come true and of course as a kid I'm thinking uh yeah if I get on there then of course you're gonna be on there and <laughs> the second Neil heard that he said well let's make it happen so the day came. It was bring my dad to work day for his cameo, and he had this brilliant idea of turning off his neural stimulators, which are the nodes that control his tremor, uh, while he was in character in order to make his scene in the film more realistic. The uh, latter part of this John is me turning my steam back on and the uh, tremor completely subsiding. Oh my Yay. God. That right? Back to normal. Wow. <laughs> the character he played in the film no longer had control of himself. Now, in a sci-fi film, as an audience, we see that quite frequently. Uh, mind control in movies happens all the time. But when you take away the fiction, the reality is that so many people with brain diseases completely lose the ability to control themselves. I mean... Imagine not being able to make a phone call, type on the computer, not even being able to pour a glass of water for yourself or play the piano because you can't control the involuntary movements that your body is making. All of these rudimentary human functions that so many of us take for granted on a daily basis. My dad was losing his ability to be an independent human being and then he had the surgery. There are millions and millions of people across the globe who suffer from brain diseases like epilepsy, stroke, Parkinson's disease, and the essential tremor that my dad had suffered from most of his life is just one out of so many. And yet because of ongoing research and the advancements in neuroscience related technology, he has his life back. He has a degree of control now that allows him to function with a far greater quality of life. He's living proof that there is hope for people afflicted with these debilitating diseases. Life can be hard, and no, life is not fair. We all have to play the cards we've been dealt. But the beauty is that we can still inspire each other to do whatever we can to create better lives for ourselves and the people around us. There are fathers and mothers and children out there who need research like this. They need these advancements in technology and they deserve the opportunity to live with a quality of life that so many of us have taken for granted all of our lives. We are not helpless and we can take action. So help us pave the way to finding a cure for brain disease. Together we can make a difference.